I'm here now with George Barbatsiotis. He's the CEO of Propgo Technologies. George, welcome. Great to be here. Uh, George, tell me quickly, what is Propgo? What does it do? We're a leading uh, online real estate media and solutions company focusing on the business-to-business -business space. Our value proposition provides efficiencies for real estate agencies and developers to better manage their business. Hmm. Uh, we also power online real estate for major media companies, including our own Propco brands. Uh, those include the Financial Times uh, real estate section, uh, Nikkei's real estate section, which is the largest uh, news provider for financial services and, and, and media reports in Japan, uh, Zhao Bao, which is a Chinese media arm of Singapore Press Holdings, and the Chinese New York Times. Hmm. So you're a, uh, is, is it an ad tech platform? Well, what's great, what's unique about our platform, it's actually a CRM and SaaS platform with listing database and management tools. And from those listing management and database tools, our clients can push their properties to media portals within our network, the propco.com network. Those includes, again, the Financial Times, Nikkei, mm -hmm. Zhao Bao, and the Chinese New York Times, hmm. and outside our network. So if I was a small independent media company in Canada publishing financial media, I would become a customer of PropGo if I wanted to project my media into those audiences? It'd be the other way around. We oh. would provide you with a, a real estate channel hmm. to show your audience uh, real estate listings from not just Canada, but around the world. So it's hmm. a very unique value proposition, and you'd be part of our network, and it'd be very easy for the media company to do, just using our software and connecting our software and clients to your traffic and audience. Interesting. Okay, so tell me about your revenue model. How does that work? Uh, on the client side, we have a SaaS-based B2B platform. So agencies and developers will run their business on our platform. This will connect their multiple offices in and around the world. So in the Asia-Pacific region, Savills runs their business currently for Thailand, Vietnam, mm -hmm. Singapore, uh, and India. And they're expand to multiple markets, and they do this on one platform. This solves a major problem real estate agencies and developers who want to work across multiple markets they have because you don't want to have multiple markets on multiple different platforms, each solving the same problem multiple times, all not talking to each other. So our platform provides this capability to the developers and real estate agencies who pay us a flat monthly recurring revenue fee. Mm -hmm. On the other side, we have uh, a media model where our classified online marketplace power our own channels and these media channels, like the Financial Times, Nikkei, and the New York Times, and we do a revenue share. So our clients push their inventory to these channels and we collect marketing and media revenue and split that with our partners. Hmm. Okay, very cool. Are you profitable now? Yes, we're EBITDA po uh, positive hmm. um, and have been so for a while. Uh, and we're looking to scale up and go take our business global. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's the uh, what's revenue projections look like for the next 12, 24 months? We've done about a 300% CAGR. Um, and this year we're looking at approximately 4 million uh, US dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, in 2019. Next year, we're looking to double that to about $8 million and then $60 million in, in, the, in the subsequent year in 2021. Wow. Okay. And so, out of all of those things, what is the primary revenue driver? What percentage of the revenue is driven by that main thing? Uh, great. So, it's 50 50. So, pr we have 50% SaaS and uh, software solutions driving uh, half our revenue, and we're scaling up the media revenue as well. So, it's highly synergistic. So clients uh, will, will purchase from both the software platform and the media platform. Uh, and that both basically uh, creates a highly synergistic revenue model. Currently, we have B2B relationships with uh, Sotheby's and Christie's, uh, Savills and Collier's. And we're seeking as part of this financial raise to expand our platform from within our own existing client network uh, to add their affiliates and offices. Mm -hmm. Case in point, Sotheby's would have approximately 1,500 offices located around the world with 15,000 agents. Our ARPU is 1,000 per agent uh, per annum. So that total addressable market within the one enterprise client is approximately $15 million. Hmm. Wow, impressive. And what's the competitive landscape look like? Great. Uh, in any um, market that we, we serve, there's a, a SaaS platform, a media platform, and a syndication platform that works really well, let's say, for Canada or for the United States, or for the UK and Australia. But there's no platform that addresses all those markets providing all three of those tools. So we can provide a SaaS platform that can address the Canadian market and tap into the Canadian local portals and then provide the international coverage and exposure. Case in point, a Canadian developer can now market their listings all throughout Canada on our platform and to other channels not in our network in Canada. And then they can push those properties and open up offices in Hong Kong and China where we're located.
mm. and reach those audiences uh, there. Because obviously, you know, there's a, a large amount of buyers from the Asian market uh, buying international properties. And our pro platform is a leading platform in the world in facilitating those transactions. Hmm. Wow, sounds like quite, quite, a, quite a machine. I can't wait to check it out. Um, okay, so it sounds like you've got growth opportunities in the, in the sort of uh, family of media companies you could associate with. You've got growth opportunities, obviously, in every market where there's real estate developers active. Where does this thing become attractive as a takeout and to whom? Uh, precisely, Amy. In, in, in the future, we believe a lot of the siloed media companies or property portals may want to um, acquire international capabilities. We also believe our end user clients and developers may want to acquire those capabilities and, and take those in-house. As you know, there's a phenomenon called Compass mm -hmm. in the United States, which is a, a, a digital agency. And they're taking a lot of market share because they provide those digital tools for the U.S. market. And the other real estate agencies and developers want those same capabilities, and, and they, they also want the capability to expand internationally. So we become a very attractive target for media companies, uh, real estate property portals, and also real estate companies. Wow, fantastic. Sounds like a great story, George. Um, you guys are raising money now for a uh, go public transaction at some point in the future? Yes, actually, we're here in Canada. We're, we intend to list on the Toronto uh, Venture Stock Exchange mm -hmm. uh, by the end of November, early December timeframe, and we're raising capital as part of that transaction. Okay, great. Uh, George, we'll leave it there for now. We'll come back to you in due course. Thanks very much for joining me today. Thank you. Good to be here.